I'm Joe Legee with another update on some of the projects planned in the 2020 Splost. This week, we're looking at replacing vehicles for first responders. The current one cent special purpose local option sales tax expires on September 30th. If voters renew the Splost, funding for a new list of projects would begin October 1st, including new vehicles for the Sheriff's Office. Typically, we try to uh, replace uh, about uh, 14 to 15 vehicles a year and uh, you can imagine uh, the cost of that uh, to the county operating budget uh, each year and so what we've done is uh, uh, factored in the SPLOS to help pay for those vehicles. The 2020 SPLOS calls for the Sheriff's Office to receive two and a half million dollars over the next six years to replace deputy vehicles. You know, vehicles are our uh, lifeline to the people in the community. Uh, when they call 911 for help, uh, to be able to get there, uh, we have to have a, a dependable vehicle and uh, we try to keep our fleet uh, up to date, uh, keep them serviced, and rotate them out uh, at about 150,000 miles uh, is what our insurance company suggests. The same needs hold true for the fire department, which did not receive any funding to replace vehicles during the current SPLOST. The bigger trucks are anywhere from three to $400,000 a piece. The QRVs are uh, around $200,000 a piece, and that's give or take some equipment on them, give or take some money for equipment. But uh, all of our vehicles are after averaging 20 years, 20 plus years old. The 2020 SPLOST calls for the fire department to receive $3,750,000 over six years to replace one quick response vehicle and one fire truck each year. It becomes a safety issue for the firefighters again and, and being on the road because these trucks wear out and they're heavy. Um, technology changes. Um, so, you know, when, when you're when you're in today's world, when you get 20 years without replacing a vehicle, you're, you're getting far behind the, you're behind the curve. The 2020 SPLOS proposal also includes $300,000 to complete the Hinkle Fire Station on Lookout Mountain and $400,000 to add body and vehicle cameras for the Sheriff's Office. The replacement of equipment from the 1980s at the landfill, additional road paving, and new roofs and HVAC systems are among some of the other 2020 SPLOS projects. For more information on all of these SPLOS projects planned in Walker County and its cities, visit walkercountyga.gov slash SPLOST or splost2020.com. I'm Joe Legee.